fair to say that most people would head out of the city and head down the coast or up the coast to go fishing. But today I did the opposite. I came from down the coast and headed up here to Sydney to have a day in the harbour. I've never really fished the harbour that much before. Uh, the first time I've really fished it for brim was today. And I have to say that it was a real eye opener. The amount of different structure to fish up here, um, bridges, wharves, moored boats, uh, man-made rocky walls, it's just a totally different alien sort of system to the one I'm used to which is more sort of natural, um, you know, snags and, and rocky walls and so on. So it took a little while to work out, you know, the best way to fish this area. Um, and it also took a little while to sort of get used to the fact that this is a working harbour. There's boats and ferries and all sorts of crazy stuff going on all over the place. It's so different to the, the coastal waters I, I normally fish. So it was a real eye-opener to come up here. but. I have to say the fishing's pretty good. This harbour is, is alive with fish. There's bait everywhere. We've got some nice little brim. I got blown away by something um, I reckon was probably a rat king on, on brim gear. Um, and you know, you hear and, uh, stories about all the fantastic fishing in here. And I've published plenty of stories over the years in Fishing World about the great fishing in Sydney Harbour. So it's a real eye opener to come here and, and fish this area. Um, and maybe it's true that you don't necessarily need to escape the city to have great fishing. What do we got here? I don't think it's a brim. See that bait? There's a school, uh, shower of bait just where I chucked my lure and hooked up on whatever this is. Not sure what it is. Oh, it is a brim. It's a good brim. <laughs> He had a good run on him. I thought he was a, a salmon or something like that. Some more fish just there. Starting to bust up on the surface. Come on, mate. All right. Yeah, quality fish. It's a good example of a nice, healthy Sydney Harbour brim. When it comes to selecting lures for brim, there's almost limitless uh, amount of lures out there. I use a lot of hard bodies for brim, and you can sort of roughly define hard bodies into a couple of different categories. First up, you've got your shallow divers. So these little guys, like this little atomic, they're great for uh, shallow weed beds, shallow shan flats over shallow rocky bars. And then you might go to a deeper diving lure like this jackal chubby. That guy gets down to about six or eight feet, and it's great for prospecting around deeper uh, snags, uh, rocky areas, drop-offs and so on. And then you've got your minnow style lures, which are your more elongated style lures. These are great for twitching around snags and through weed beds and along rock bars. Fantastic for that sort of work. Um, and you've got sort of hybrid ones like this fellow, which is sort of a mix between a, a little fat hard body and more of a minnow style lure. So there, that's a little um, eco gear. It's, it's good for doing that twitching sort of work as well. Not a big fish, but not a bad little fish. Come on, up you come. Got it. Ah, another nice Sydney brim. 